What's poppin' everybody? Sibrol94, bringing you guys another game. We're going back to Kendra today. Good old stage 2 Kendra. Let's see what it's gonna be able to do this time. Uh, the deck my opponent was using uh, is just a psychic deck, I think. Uh, your Espeon EX has a bunch of Tapu Kokos, I think. Uh, we'll see, but it wasn't like... I didn't really understand the strategy behind this deck. Uh, we'll see, though. We shall be reminded together. Well, I'm going to be reminded. You guys are going to see this, experience this for the first time. Okay, so we get to Mulligan a bunch of times, so that sucks. And I'm going to have to open with Tapu Lele. That sucks even more. Uh, man, I opened with this guy so many times. It's crazy. But, yeah, so both of us got a basic finally. Well, him, I guess. I'm, it only took me one time. So let's see what's up. Okay, he's going to open with Espeon too. Now, this would have been great if I could have hit for weakness at least, but I can't. And since he opened with this guy, you know, if he does his shit right, he'll be able to devolve my dudes all day. But uh, he uses Max Elixir and manually attached the Psychic Energy to the Tapu Koko. So that thing already has two energies on it. So he can attack. Okay. And he ends. Uh, my hand was, I guess, wasn't completely terrible, but uh, we get an even more terrible hand now. Hey, great. Uh, we get a bunch of uh, horses, Kindras, and the Seedra, which means I can, like, evolve the old school way, having a bunch of these Pokemon in hand. But we don't have any supporter. And, you know, since I don't have Mime, it's not going to take long for the Tapu Koko to uh, knock out my little guys. So it's not great here, but I decided, hey, I really don't want to attach a water energy to Tapu Lele. It's not going to be able to do anything against Tapu Koko, so yeah. Uh, he's going to put a float stone on the Necrozma, so he runs that guy too, uh, I guess, psychic deck shit. And I think that's like an Esper he has down too. Yeah, okay, so a bunch of psychic Pokemon, a straight psychic deck. And yeah, Flying Flip is going to start putting the hurt on. I don't really care about Tabulele getting hurt this much, but I, I need to sort of evolve my guys before the horses die. I mean, we got Seedra out, so that's kind of good, I guess. And what I'm probably going to have to do next turn is, if I don't have a way to switch, uh, we might have to just uh, retreat. Waste an energy and retreat with the Tapu Lele, and then I can just start attacking with Kindra. Uh, but we'll see uh, what we'll do. I'm debating whether to attach an energy or not. I'm pretty sure now. Checking that dude out too. He, he's not going to do anything for now, but uh, he has two psychic energies too, so it's going to be a one-hit knockout if he decides to attack. It's That guy is basically like a Rayquaza dude. With 10 extra damage, Rayquaza EX. Uh, he's going to be able to do a lot of damage if he discards a lot of Psychic Energies. Like, if they ever bring out some Psychic Acceleration shit, you best believe that Pokemon is going to be great. I'd use it too. Okay, so we get the Rare Candy, which means I can save the Horsey, but we still really can't do shit. And... Uh... I guess, yeah, I didn't attach the energy and I attached it this turn. So we're going to be able to retreat and attack. But, you know, I'm left with jack shit. So we're going to be forced to use tornado shot here. And I'm going to be able to hurt the dude a lot. But we're going to lose an energy and I don't have any energies in hand. So that's one of the downsides of tornado shot. Uh, I don't have shit, period. I mean, he ended me, he gave me a, a pretty bad hand. We got a bunch of Kindras out quick, but we don't have anything else. I really need to top deck like an N or Sycamore or some shit. But he decides to keep using Flying Flip. He didn't switch over to the Necrozma dude. And I top deck a Scala, which I guess is the next best thing maybe. So the question is right now, are we gonna uh, get a Sycamore or maybe I'm gonna get like, 
maybe even uh, Lily, and I decided to grab N. I'm pretty sure I was looking for something like Professor's Letter because even though it makes sense to get a supporter since I don't have shit, I really just wanted to attack anyway. Just snipe the dude on the bench, the Krasma, and just risk it. Hope I get a supporter through prizes and shit, or just the next turn. Because uh, I don't like slow shit. Like, it's good to scala for a supporter when you know, okay, how you can still do shit, but to just get a supporter and just basically do nothing in the turn. I'm not really a fan of that. Okay, so fly and flip again. He switched into the other dude. I, I think I don't know. Oh no, he fucking used. Uh, damn, what's it called? Guzma, yeah, and did that shit. So it seems he's insistent on using flying flip. I guess it's not really that bad of a strategy. He is softening up my dudes and doing slow damage and you know he doesn't necessarily need to promote Necrozma but at the same time you know uh, I'm benefiting more from his slow like aggression he's taking things slow that's gonna benefit me more alright so we're gonna waste another energy retreating to the Tapu retreating the Tapu Lele but this way I can attack with Kendra and we're gonna use Brian this time I'm pretty sure I really don't feel you know, the Tapu Kokos are a big of a threat, even though they are piling damage. I really just want to get rid of the Necrozma here. Uh, it's hurt pretty bad with 120. And since it has three energies on, I'm not too worried about Max Potion and shit. Only something like Akerola would ruin it, ruin my damage. And he decided he's going to promote him uh, since he thinks, okay, uh, I need to do something before he dies. And he decided to use the... GX attack. Uh, that's not bad, I guess. Uh, he took out Tapulele and severely damaged fucking Lapras too. So that sucks. Hopefully I get the max potion on the Lapras here. But we're going to be able to uh, knock the dude out now. So the question is, oh yeah, of course I'm going to tornado shot. Uh, get the prize on the Tapu Coco too. Right. So we get to kill Necrozma and the Tapu Koko as well. So hey, before you know it, I'm like not only back in the game, but I'm sort of like in the leading position too. We're going to grab three prizes. Hopefully I get something good here. Uh, we get more rare candies. We got three fucking rare candies. Damn. And my other prize is N. Okay. So we get a supporter, but now that he's going to be super weak, great. Uh, I'm probably going to Ultra Ball for sure get like mime or some shit uh, but it seems he's gonna end himself anyway so we're both gonna get shit but I'm only gonna get three cards hopefully we get a water energy that's basically all I need I feel like now just water energies and maybe a, like a mime so that flying flip uh, becomes useless uh, he's piling up the damage but is it gonna be enough is it gonna be in time Okay, so I'm going to put the Float Stone on one of my dudes, I guess Lapras maybe, or the Horsey, I guess. And we are going to, seems I'm going to switch here. I wonder, who are we going to promote? I don't know why I did that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it would have been cool to just switch into like a clean Kindra, a fresh Kindra, but... You know, I didn't want to risk. Uh, maybe I'm not going to get the cards to bring another one out. So, yeah, we're just going to use another damage, Kendra. And I got the Mime, too. That's pretty good. So we'll finally be able to not care about Flying Flip. Uh, he came close, but now it's, it's going to be pretty useless. He has to target down the Mime if he wants to get his other knockouts on my dudes. And we're going to keep using Tornado Shot. Applying a lot of pressure. I'm going to target the Espion, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, because that's going to be, that can be kind of a threat. Uh, when he uses that, uh, man, both of my dudes are going to die. Both Kindra's, the damaged ones, are going to die. So, yeah, you see the synergy with the flying flip shit. That's what he was trying to do, I guess. 
So even with the mime, uh, it's a little too late now, but I guess we do have the bench barrier now. Okay, so he's going to Ultra Ball. Wonder Attack is going to get a supporter. Uh, let's see, it's going to be Sycamore, okay, not very surprising. I, I mean, it. you don't really want a Guzma now. He doesn't, he didn't really, you know, have to Guzma for anything. Uh, he's just going to use Espeon's Devolution, Devolving Attack, whatever. And both the Kindras are going to die. Well, the horses are going to die. The Kindras are going to be in hand. So, he's going to play the Field Blower, too. I guess, I mean, Floatstone. All right. And there goes one of my dudes. There goes the other one of my dudes. So we got three freaking Kindras in hand, but man, I just, I need a rare candy and a water energy if we're going to do shit. Let's see which guy I'm going to promote. Uh, horsey, I guess. I kind of, I need like to risk shit here. If I, pr if I bring out the mime and then I manage to get Kindra out, uh, then we're kind of screwed. We'll, we'll have to waste a turn not doing anything. That's probably going to be game. So I have the stretcher. I guess we could get a Cedra and evolve slowly, but that's not really going to do it. Uh, it's pretty difficult. I can't really Sycamore because I have all the guys in hand. N is going to suck. Uh, Kukui is just too risky, just only drawing two cards. I'm probably not going to get what I need. So I'm in a tough spot here. We're probably going to I don't know, I mean, uh, use Stretcher. I might even get Lele, but, you know, which supporter are we going to use? Uh, we don't really have... We can't really use shit. Um, I think I might just resort to trying to use uh, Lapras, perhaps. Just get a Sycamore and just try to draw all the fucking... Uh, uh, what's it called? The Aqua Patches and shit. Yeah, I'm checking the deck. We've got one, and we've got, well, just one Aqua Patch. So, I might have to. I mean, it seems I'm going to here. So, all the Kindras are dead, which means I really can't use Kindra. But I really just thought, man, there's nothing else we can do. So, yeah, at this point, I'm just going to try and use Lab Press. But I think it's at this point, I'm just going to scoop anyway. So, it's going to be game. I don't know why he did that. I guess he thought it was going to be too late. He couldn't do anything if I used Lapras. So I guess, I hope you guys enjoyed this game. It was short, but it was interesting. You know, he did some shit, but it seems Kindra prevailed. Yeah, uh, he decided to scoop as soon as I played the Max Potion. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys subscribe. Leave a like. Share this with your friends. Uh, I upload games and a lot of Pokemon shit on my channel. So... Feel free, make sure, actually, to check all the shit out. Uh, Saber Wolf 94, what's up?